you want to park your car in Harvard Square or somewhere in Somerville. How does resident street parking work in Cambridge and Somerville, Massachusetts? In this video, we'll find out. Stay tuned. So residential street parking in Cambridge and Somerville, Massachusetts is governed by parking stickers and visitor parking permits. So you need a resident parking sticker on your car or a visitor permit on your dash if you're going to park on a residential street in Cambridge or Somerville, Massachusetts. These are the streets signed parking by permit only, and these constitute the majority of streets in both Cambridge and Somerville. So it's an ever-present reality that streets in Cambridge and Somerville are signed parking by permit only. So to get a resident parking sticker on your vehicle, it must have a Massachusetts plate and it must be registered to your address in Cambridge or Somerville to get the sticker from Cambridge or Somerville that keeps your car legally parked on the street. Now, these are annual stickers. There's a nominal fee. And once you're in the system, you can renew online. So you've got to have a sticker. And then if you get a sticker, they give you a visitor parking permit, a placard for your household, so that if someone's visiting you, they can take the visitor permit, put it in their dash, lock the door, and uh, be safely parked in a area near your home address. Visitor parking permits are by zone, and so they're not good for the entire city, but they give you permission to park near the person who has the visitor permit, a certain number of streets around the specific address. So this is how parking works here. Now, of course, there are many people each and every day who risk a ticket because they don't have a sticker or they don't have a visitor permit. Both cities are sending parking uh, officers out on a regular basis to write up tickets. So generally speaking, the closer you are to a square, the more likely it is you're going to run the risk of being ticketed. So if you don't have a sticker and you don't have a permit, then be careful and know that you're running the risk of uh, getting a ticket. Now, parking by permit, the regular regulations that govern parking in Cambridge and Somerville are not in effect on Sunday. And that's great news if you're coming in to visit open houses. I'm a residential real estate agent. And of course, I love that the Parking laws are not in effect on Sunday since it allows people from neighboring towns to drive in and visit me at one of my open houses and not worry about getting a ticket for having parked on the street. So that's great. Another part of the parking on street reality in Cambridge and Somerville is street cleaning. And street cleaning occurs early April through end of December. And once a month, either side of the street is cleaned and you've got to be sure you're not parked there. It's a rite of passage for many a Cantabrigian and Somervillian to have discovered that their car has been towed because they forgot about street cleaning. Cambridge does send a truck around with a loudspeaker message broadcasting that it's street cleaning and more than one person has jumped out of bed to move their car before 8 a.m. to avoid being towed. So. It is something you need to be conscious of, especially if you're traveling and you're going to be out of town, that your car is not parked on a street uh, sweeping day on that side of the street that needs to be clear of cars. And they do tow uh, religiously every car that's in the way of the street sweeper. So be aware of that. Also, it's good to know that if you're planning to move in or out, you can request a moving permit uh, for your moving truck. And of course, there's a fee and you have to book it in advance for the signs to be put up to preserve the space in front of the residence for your moving truck. These are sign requests that can be made as well for construction vehicles or if you're having a special event. So there are special permits issued for specific uh, parking realities that require you to reserve some portion of the street and moving in and out, of course, is the most common request. There is as well the ability to request a special permit. So if you work in a city each and every day and need to be there for you know work, uh, you can request uh, a special permit be granted you to park in that city during the business day. So as a real estate agent, I live in Cambridge and I have a special permit 
to park in Somerville because so many of my appointments are Somerville uh, related for showing homes that they've granted me a special real estate agent permit to park in Somerville on the street during the day. Of course, I pay for that. But again, I'd rather pay an annual fee for a special permit than collect so many parking tickets through the year. Last but not least is to know that certain streets are uh, signed for snow emergency. And if a snow emergency is declared, then you cannot park uh, on the street. And this is typically true for major thoroughfares. So like at the end of my street is Cambridge Street. And it is one of those streets that's marked in the event of a snow emergency, no parking on the street. And this is helpful because it gets the plows to clear out the snow and allows people after the storm to actually park because they were able to clear it out when it came. So uh, never a dull moment when it comes to parking your car in Cambridge and Somerville. It is manageable. I live in a house where my wife and I both drive a car. We do not have a driveway. We've been parking on street for over 20 years, and it's just something you get used to. Uh, of course, uh, street cleaning and remembering to park your car on the other side of the street so it's not towed is a never-ending battle for most of us. But look, we've got a visitor pass, so if someone comes to visit, we can give it to them and they can park near our house. And, you know, it's perfectly fine to renew our sticker online and it all works pretty well. And I can tell you that it is nice that the streets are uh, swept and kept clean. And uh, I'm making this video at the end of the year and we just had our final street sweep for the season, picking up the last of the leaves, uh, leaves as we go into the winter months. And it's great just to have that happen and they've got it down to a science and do a good job. So there you have it. That's all there is to know about permit parking in Cambridge and Somerville, Massachusetts. My name is Charles Cherney, and I'm here to help you buy the right home or sell for the best price in Cambridge and Somerville, or to simply answer your questions about the market, your home, and the community. Reach out at any time by text, telephone, or email. I talk to people each and every day, and I welcome the opportunity to connect with you and be of service. Take care.